These three lovely ladies are, again, the same height and the same size, but clothes will fit them very differently. Yes, Correct? yes, they will. Okay, so Christina, can you explain the issue that you have when you shop for clothes? Yeah, so I'm five feet, so I'm very short, I'm very petite, but I have a long torso and small shoulders. So I always feel like I'm shopping for two different people. Right. So, yeah. I'm so small on top, but I carry all my weight down here, so I never know what to wear or what to shop for. Or how to wear it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that, I mean, I, let's just say this is very tricky, right? I mean, everybody has problems figuring out what's going to fit really perfectly on their body, but when you say that you're almost shopping for two different people, you really are, right? Very small shoulders in relation to her chest. That's one proportion that we have to look at. A long torso on a petite person. Now, that's a big deal because she may need regular size sizes for a long torso, the, even though she's five yes, feet. Right. Whereas like you could be 5'10", and if you have a really short torso, you might need petite tops. So there's a lot of you know guesswork you have to do here. And then if you carry your weight on your bottom half as a petite person, we want to make sure that we lengthen you out. We need to even you up. So I am going to give you some clothes to try on and see if we can't accomplish that, right? Long torso, short legs. Hey, you if carry you want your... that outfit, girl, I'm taking it. <laughs> it looks hot. Let's hope it fits. All right. And we're going to see if we can't lengthen you a little bit and trick the eye. So that's always what we want to do. Oh, adorable. Very pretty blouse. So how do you feel, first of all? I love it. You do? I love it, yeah. It's I never, really cute. Yeah, I never thought to wear high-waisted jeans. That's the exact opposite of what I thought. Right. And I always wear loose fitting shirts, but I never think to tuck it in, and I never wear belts. That top ever. is adorable. So let me just talk this down a okay. little bit. Okay, Great. this is an ideal situation for somebody like you who is petite, not just in size, but in ratio. Small shoulders, smaller bust compared to her lower half, right? So what we did was we found a leather jacket that stays open so that we create this vertical column in the middle. We did a high-waisted jean with a belt so we would demarcate a higher center of gravity, right? She looks like she she has a shorter torso now. But because she carries her weight in her lower half, we wanted something to kind of create a narrowness so the jacket goes longer only on the sides of the jacket. Right, right, right. So we don't lose that column in the middle. And then, so, oh, I know there's like a big aha. Yeah. Exactly, and any kind of pointy toe, which you'll see, elongates the leg line, doesn't matter. And a heel is always good to try on if you are trying to figure out your body proportions, because it, it forces you to stand up a little bit straighter. Right. Shoulders go back, girls go out, tummy in, tush out, right? <laughs> so it will help you see the way you want to look in your clothes. <laughs> And there you have it. Now, one other thing. We did push up the sleeve to the elbow. Because yeah. if the sleeve is too long on a petite person, it will look like it's oversized, like she's wearing her mommy's coat, you know? Right, like she um, stole somebody. Exactly. Oh, and what we also want is that we want this to be in line with this higher waistline we've created. Oh, that's a great point. So when you yeah. push it up, it looks like that's the waist, because that's where your eye hits. Right. Really good.